So Congress has, at this moment, been unable to get the votes that it needs to raise the debt ceiling. And it's looking like the government is going to shut down on Thursday. There is a possibility that the United States could default on its national debt. And this will affect everybody. And when I listen to these people talk, I always knew the country was broke, but I didn't realize how broke the country actually is. Now, I just listened to an article from Janet Yellen, or listened to a video from Janet Yellen. She's speaking about the urgency for Congress to do something and raise the national debt. The country is basically bankrupt, you guys. She said last year the IRS collected $800 billion in taxes last year. We also sent out $1,400 stimulus payments, which cost the country $400 billion, which is half of the revenue that we brought in last year. On top of that, Democrats have been sending out child tax credits every month I believe this is supposed to continue until the end of the year. I'm not exactly sure how much that costs. I couldn't find a figure. But I'm pretty sure that we've already spent up that entire $800 billion that we collected last year. So we're basically running a huge deficit. And as no surprise... We've reached the debt limit, and so we have to raise the debt. Now, Democrats say they are committed to getting everything that Joe Biden wants to ensure that his vision of building back better is is met. Mitch McConnell and the Republicans say they are united against raising the debt limit in this way, which is so partisan, one-sided, that um, they are absolutely against it because they say that Democrats want to raise the debt ceiling without, without a cap. They just want to be able to spend whatever they want, right? And so we've come to an impasse. And it's looking like the government is going to collapse on Thursday. I mean, the government's going to shut down on Thursday. Now, I believe that, uh, um, what is Thursday? Thursday is the 30th. Um, I believe that the debt ceiling is, uh, I think they have to raise the debt ceiling by October. I'm just checking for you real quick. Um, One second. Oh, it says the government would shut down on October 1st and the U.S. would be unable to pay its bills sometime in October if Congress does not pass legislation raising the debt ceiling. So... The government has less about a week to make something happen and they just had a vote and they didn't have enough votes. So Chuck Schumer decided to go against his party to vote to vote no in order to have a second vote somehow reach an agreement. Right. Now. Democrats keep blaming Donald Trump. They keep blaming Donald Trump for all of this. They keep they said that in the last presidency, most of the debt that was accumulated was due to Donald Trump, right? But Democrats want to pass a one trillion dollar infrastructure bill on top of a three point five trillion social spending package. They want to spend four point five trillion dollars. And we've only, it's only been nine months in the, into this presidency and they want to spend $4 trillion 
almost $5 trillion, but yet they keep blaming Donald Trump. I just, Donald Trump hasn't been in office for the past nine months. When are Democrats going to take some responsibility in this country? You know, um, even though the country might default, I'm actually happy that McConnell and Republicans are actually standing up to the Democrats and all of this crazy legislation that they're trying to pass. But something has to be done. Uh, Listening to Janet Yellen talk, she says that the IRS is needs additional funding. They're trying to ramp up their auditing and their surveillance. She said that FinCEN is planning to build a massive database that collects and secures beneficial ownership information. They're going to have a database on everybody and what we own is crazy. Right? The government is so broke that they are... They need extra funding to ramp up and go after the taxpayers and snoop on their accounts to try to find more revenue that they can take. It's crazy. And this is why you see people passing, trying to pass crazy bills so the IRS can go after people's bank accounts that have more than $600. She said... Janet Yellen said that the IRS needs additional funding and she believes that over $7 trillion is going to fall through the cracks over the next 10 years. Why is this? She says that many of the country's wealthiest taxpayers do not pay their full tax bill. And uh, she she quoted this report from Pro. ProPublica, this got leaked, um, when, when did this get leaked, um, this, uh, this was in June 8th, 2021, somebody within the IRS had leaked the tax forms of some of the wealthiest people in this country. And such as Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, Warren Buffett, they do not pay, they pay little to almost no taxes. Couple years, Jeff Bezos paid no taxes. Musk and Buffett pay little taxes. George Soros, the guy who made Black Lives Matter, he hasn't paid taxes three years in a row. Three years in a row, this man has paid zero tax, and that's why he's a billionaire. But yet they, I don't understand, but yet they want to come after the little guy, the guy who has $600 in his, in his bank account. You know, I guess, you know, they keep saying tax the rich, but this new bill that they're trying to pass is going to be like a blanket law passed over everybody, you know? And there's there's going to be there's going to be a big burden on the middle and lower class, and the rich are still going to get away with barely paying any taxes. And you know, most of that most of their wealth does not come from income. Most of their wealth comes from investments like stocks, real estate. The value keeps going up and up and up. It's not that it's not the revenue that they're coming that's coming in. It's their assets. And this is why you have people like Janet Yellen coming out with crazy ideas to tax unrealized capital gains, which is just out of this world to me. You know, you have let's say you buy a house and the value of the house keeps going up because land is limited and you have to pay a tax on the increase of the value every year. You know, you you that would make you have to pay to get an appraisal every year. Your new value comes out, you have to pay taxes on that, the new value of the tax on that, and 
on top of that, you have to pay property taxes and all this. It's just out of this world. Like, how can anybody afford to keep up with all these taxes? It seems impossible. But, you know, I mean, I wish I could just learn the game how these rich people are not paying any taxes. I wish I could do the same thing. (laughs) Shit, this is getting out of control. We are spending so much money. The government, I I believe there was an article that said that even if we taxed the rich at 99%, we wouldn't, we wouldn't even have a trillion dollars or something like that. It's so out of control and we've spent so much money. It's, it's only a matter of time before the house of cards comes crashing down and the government collapses. Now, what happens with the government shutdown or and the U.S. defaults on its debt? Now, this a government shutdown and a U.S. default will definitely affect me. It'll probably affect you and it will affect some people that you know. I currently work for... Or oh, I'm an independent contractor. I'm contracted through Medi-Cal. I work in the healthcare industry. I don't know if my job would stop, but it's a possibility that I could that I could stop getting paid. Because, you know, if, if Medi-Cal stops functioning, then Medi-Cal is no no longer able to cover for these people's transportation. With, you know, the elderly who barely have any money already as it is. Um, Would our company go private? It's possible. But would anybody, would any elderly be able to afford the payments for round trips every day to and from dialysis? I doubt it. I really doubt it. So I believe that my job would be done. (laughs) My job would basically end and... Then you have Social Security. My dad is currently getting Social Security payments. Social Security payments would basically stop effective immediately. What are you going to do when you have all these elderly people who can't afford to live already as it is? You know, they're living on retirement payments. SSI, SSDI. All of that just stops. What are, what are they going to do? And then everyone else who works in the government, their their um their their job stop, they no longer have an income. And then the US defaults credit cards would stop. You go to the bank, you're unable to get your money out. It sounds exactly like Jim Rickard's Ice Nine. If you don't know what Jim Rickard's Ice Nine is, you should look it up. It, it's He says that when the economy collapses, they're going to freeze everything and usher in a new financial system. We can see that happening right now with them trying to pass legislation to create a digital dollar and that's a whole nother video I, I got a whole nother video coming out for y'all on that but it's all connected imagine a society where you're in a cashless society all of your transactions are known by the Federal Reserve and the IRS You can no longer pull money out of the ATM. Your money is stuck on a Federal Reserve ledger. The government can go into your account and take out whatever taxes that they want. It's insane when you think about it. But this is the the society that we're coming into. This is some scary shit when you think about it. Do I think that Congress will allow the United States to default? I don't think so. 
You know, I don't think so. I don't think Democrats are going to allow the country to default on its debt. I believe that it's going to come down to a 50-50 like, you know, everything else. All the Democrats support it. All the Republicans vote no against it. And it comes down to the, the deciding vote, which is Kamala Harris once again. So I don't think that the country's going to default. I believe that I believe that they're going to pass some type of bill to raise the debt ceiling like they want. And they're going to spend $4.5 trillion like they want, causing inflation and devaluing the dollar. It's the only way. I mean, if the U.S. does actually default, we could kiss the world reserve currency status goodbye, which which is already going to happen anyway because we're running trillion dollar deficits. It's crazy when you think about all of this. But let me know what you think. How are you preparing for a government shutdown? Are you preparing for the U.S. dollar, U.S. debt default? It's inevitable. <laughs> it's inevitable. We, we, we're not bringing in enough tax revenue. $800 billion, but we want to spend $4.5 trillion. And even if the IRS were to collect that seven trillion over the next ten years, how we've already we're already going to spend half of that. We're going to spend half of that seven trillion over the next ten years, but we're going to spend four point five trillion within the next four years. How does that work? How does that work? <laughs> this country is so screwed. We physically, financially, economically, we are so screwed. Shutting down the economy was one of the worst ideas that has ever happened. Hundreds and thousands of businesses closed down permanently, which is less tax revenue coming in. It doesn't. Why would you do that? You know, blaming it, blaming it on the pandemic or whatever. It just wasn't the right thing to do economically, man. And so, yeah, that's where we're currently at right now. I'm, I'm watching this. We, we have until Thursday, until the government shuts down. Do I, will Democrats be able to rise to the occasion? We'll see. But yeah, this is RPU. Let me know what you think about a government shutdown. Let me know what you think about a U.S. debt default. If the U, if, I wonder if the U.S. defaults on its debt, the dollar will the dollar plunge. And if the dollar plunges, then cryptocurrencies will probably rise at the same rate that the dollar collapses. Let's say the dollar collapses fifty percent. Cryptos rise fifty percent. <laughs> that would be crazy to see. Yeah. Are you are you stacking gold? Are you stacking paper dollars? What do you let me know what you're doing? Are you stacking food? Are you stacking security? I want to hear from you guys, man. This is RPU. Peace.